Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Nissan Navara, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.3 DCI Tecna double cap pickup, automatic four wheel drive. 2017 on a 17 plate, has done 57,254 miles at the moment. Two registered owners, MOT until the 23rd of the 8th, 2022. Fuel economy, urban 32.5 miles per gallon. Exurban 47.9 miles per gallon and combined is 41 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 10.8 seconds, a top speed of 112 miles an hour out of a four cylinder 190 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Uh, very, very practical vehicle and to be honest you see loads of them up here virtually every vehicle that goes past is one of these four-wheel drive uh, great for carrying your family around at weekend any hobbies but also great for chucking a load of animal field in the back and getting it out to your livestock on the, the fields out here no matter what the weather's like so we've got high pressure headlamp wash a real steep attack angle so you can get over any sort of things you know, stuff like this i'm not going to try it but i'm <laughs> i'm sure we'd be able to get over it um nice high clearance underneath multi-spoke diamond cut and uh piano black alloy wheels nice big high wall tires here take up all the bumps around here side steps roof bars we have Keyless lock, keyless entry, it's keyless go as well, uh, rear privacy glass, got rear privacy glass over here as well in, in the back so it, it's difficult to see in if you keep anything in the back there, it's I wouldn't suggest it but it is difficult to see in, see what you've got. So it, uh, it has this high back, the, the top whatever. Um, Ooh. there you go so that lifts up like so you can chuck stuff in and you, you always see these with like a big piece of wood sticking out the back the back weighs an absolute ton that's a reversing camera there just in there i can i can never understand these why they don't have some form of uh hydraulic ram on to you know i mean if you let that go and it and it hit you it would flipping hurt um it's a heavy duty uh, load liner inside. You've also got things to you, uh, lash whatever you're carrying to so it doesn't slide about inside. And again, when you, it's better than going to the gym when you, when you lift this up. It's a pretty substantial thing. So that's that, that back down. Rear parking sensors there in the back. The side windows for loading little lock in there this makes it handy and also it makes it handy if it slides up there at least you can lean in put your hand in and move whatever it is to the back there it makes it easier to get in so it, it is it's a great vehicle very very practical i've got to say so it's quite high up the side steps make it a lot easier I've got my seat right the way back there. You see my knees are underneath my chin. Um, headrests, they're high enough. They're not sticking in my back at all. Uh, I would need that seat forward to, to be honest, but you've got three inertia reel rear seat belts. You've got a heated rear screen here, and you've also got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points and heavy duty mats uh, in the back. Lovely condition, like new. I should have pulled that seat forward a bit. That was a struggle getting out. Anyway, I'll take you for a ride in it. Wow, beautiful day, but it's, it's cold. All right, let's, uh, that's the key. And those are the keys for the hard top at the back there. There we go. And, uh, 
joined by a cyclist there, He's braver than I am. So let's see if I can find the service book. Wanted booklet, a maintenance record. There we go, stamp service book. 13th of 5th, 2019, 17,869 miles, Chorley Group, Ackhurst Road, Chorley. And 15th of 4th, 2021, at 38,773 miles, Chorley Group, Ackhurst Road. So we've got a proper book pack there. A couple of spare wheel nuts in there by the look of it. And that will be the locking wheel nut. No doubt, no doubt they'll all rattle about in there, but we'll uh, stick them in. There you go. So, real a good level of equipment for, uh, you know, what, what essentially um, pickups in the old days, I, I used to work for Peugeot, and the best selling vehicle probably would be a a Peugeot 504 diesel pickup, um, unbreakable, they're still going about today. And no doubt you'll see them on the, the news in the Ukraine at the moment, dragging tanks away and stuff like these vehicles. It, uh, it just, <laughs> no doubt if you, if you watch this channel, uh, you'll know that uh, I dislike electric cars, um, probably for no good reason. But watching the news and seeing uh, all the stuff that is going on in Ukraine, I don't think I've ever seen any any of the freedom fighters driving around in a Tesla. So uh, I think if the worst was to happen everywhere, anybody who'd got an electric car would be probably cannon fodder I suppose something like this took everything in the back you could probably camp in the back you could certainly get most places and uh, the, the places that you probably couldn't get to uh, would only be accessible by a helicopter but Nice, nice high driving position. Everything you need. You've got cruise control on the right hand side there. That's speed limiter. So that's cruise. Yeah, that's cruise there. If I set that, just knock that down. I'll do that again in a bit when my cameras come on. Got heated seats here. Front centre armrest there with a power socket in. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like uh, something from Alfred Hitchcock. Wow. There's just... Thousands of starlings there. All taking off. Spooky. Let's just wash the screen. I don't know whether it has got high, high pressure headlamp wash. You can never tell because they use the same bumpers uh, on some vehicles as they do with the ones with headlamp wash. There we go, you've got your sat nav, just put the map on there so you can see where we are didn't press it properly press it again Bluetooth hands free Bluetooth audio streaming the sun's on us today it's quite difficult to see I've got temperature was turned up it was vehicle was all frozen this morning it ain't now and it's it's too hot I'll let this chap go by
So what's that? So that's global locking. Is that lock windows? Can't see with my glasses on. Oh no, that's uh, that looks like hill descent. Can't see. There's your four-wheel drive controls there. The two-wheel drive, which it's in at the moment, which is just driving the back wheels. I can turn it over to four-wheel drive. Looking around the corner there. Good driving. Always difficult at this time of the day, heading into the sun, seeing the instruments and trying to pick them up on video. I'll just knock that off. Just on here, I'll just stop. Well, there you go. That's your, if, I, if you see there, I'm just moving that. And that's changing your center display there. Just knock that back. Your cruise control here. So that's cruise on there. You set it like so, just click down and then you can either resume or increase your speed there and that's your phone controls auxiliary and USB in there the gear stick oh. the gear selector if I knock it over like so I can change down like that and up like so far better off just in drive Our folding door mirror is there. We've got the roof bars or the roof bar carrier system. You put crossbars on across, then you can put whatever you want bike rack, canoe rack, roof rack, you name it, or roof box. So that uh, increases your load capacity. Plenty of room in the back. And as I say, there's, there's a, a system where you can just tie your stuff up in the back or ratchet strap them up so it doesn't come flying forward every time you brake. And it's also out of the passenger compartment. So whatever's in there, you don't get the smells wafting through into the, the cabin. And you don't get the dust off anything. Um, and you don't get the noise either, stuff rattling about. It's a separate compartment, so I, I do like that. You know, it's fairly bumpy around here on these roads. When I come in a saloon car, I'm quite mindful. There's a couple of big potholes that I've got to know now, and I'm quite mindful that uh, I need to keep away from them. But this, I wouldn't say it's a smooth ride as such, it's got big flipping kind of knobbly tyres on, but it's perfectly acceptable. And I see a chap up here taking, the, uh, taking his grandkids to school every morning, again, doesn't matter what the weather is, he's out in it, bombing along. 
and no doubt uh, his grandkids will get to school, whereas uh, some others that live closer just up the road in a, a town on a normal street, they probably can't make it. It, it is, it's a beautiful day today. Actually, the heat is very good as well, so I'm just gonna turn that down a bit. That down a bit more. Just pull up. So here we go, under there, there's a little lever. Pull the lever down and that's Sorry, it's height adjustable, not reach adjustable, so we'll get that down there. That's the instrument display, rev counter on the left, coolant temperature in the left gauge, information display in the centre, telling me how many miles, how many miles to go before I need to fill up, whether I'm in two or four wheel drive, what gear I'm in, the time, where the cruise control is set and then on the right hand side speedo and uh, fuel gauge look at place for parcels and phones there and also another power socket we have cup holders down here kind of a flask holder down here which will uh, is holding my big mug of coffee at the moment I'm gonna. This is a. I'm just pottering through here at 30. There's a, a chap behind me. In what's kind of. Well, well. We'll let him go past, and I'll I'll show you. But uh, there's the big pothole there. I'm just gonna pull over here. Let him go past. And there we go. Lo and behold, <laughs> what's he driving? <laughs> With a big trailer on the back. And I, <laughs> he's got a trailer on the back and I'm actually not str I'm not struggling to keep up, but uh, it's just faster than I would normally drive um, along these roads. <laughs> Certainly faster than I'd drive along these roads with a big trailer on the back. I wonder how old that is. I'll just, I'll just catch him up or try to catch him up. See, flipping at 50 miles an hour. So that that one in front is it's a 2004. It will have had, I'm pretty sure, a hard life. Um, and. It's still going strong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to keep up with them. I've decided that's too fast for me. So I'll show you how to program the sat nav, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile and how to stream audio. Um, good sound system, great value for money, if you say it quickly. 
good level of equipment. I suppose it's getting ready for a service. Uh, we'll service it before it goes out. Just surf that. We'll see what it is anyway. Just pull up here. You can see all this. Uh, that actually looks like ice there. So if I click that, right, yeah, we've got an orange button flashing there. There you go. So that's two wheel drive. That's four wheel drive there. It's beeped on to show you at the bottom. And then press in. And that's four low. So in four low. There you go. That's. letting us come down the hill and controlling the speed it's uh, coming rather slow but you can hear it working you can hear it braking when it thinks you're going too fast I'm going to knock that off now and uh, to be fair put it back in two wheel drive it's everything off saying key battery low needs a new battery in. The heater's very, very good. There as well, it looks like we've got uh, warning sign recognition, so that's telling us how fast we can go. I, I, always, I always find that very, very helpful um, in a vehicle because you see a speed camera coming up and, and you think oh god 30 or 40 or even though usually I'm doing the right speed because I, I, I don't tend to speed I just have a guilty conscience it's a lovely car Nice motorbikes coming up here. Let's have a look what they are. Let them go by. Lovely day for it. Looks like a couple of old chaps enjoying their retirement, which I should be doing. Certain death corner two. All good. So, I mean, it, it's nice enough to use as a family car and a few years ago of course there was loads of tax dodges and possibly still is that you only pay something like 500 quid a year on a company car tax uh, on something like this or you did do and lots of people were, were getting rid of the company cars which were costing them hundreds of pounds a month and buying one of these and uh, and saving themselves a fortune 
I'm not sure whether that's still the case. But certainly if you've... Uh, I always see people coming out here where I'm filming and going out walking and they come out and bring the bikes out and getting them out of the back of a, an estate and then putting a wheel on and you know messing about doing stuff like that and something like this with uh, a couple of canoes on top your bike I've seen uh, these tents that come on the, the roof and it's like having a bungalow um, it, it's a nice vehicle it's, it's handy all round business hobbies and uh, if you just fancy yourself as a bit of a Colt Seavers. All good, another lovely vehicle. I did notice one ding in the back uh, near the bumper, which must try and remember to get our dent man to do, but apart from that, it looks like a nice car. Bit of a landslide there. All good. So, I'll finish the test drive there. Another nice car, very, very handy vehicle, as I keep saying. And, uh, Mikey, even here, this, there's a bit of a drop there, as you just saw then. And in a normal saloon car, it's, it's quite a shock coming down there. But in this, you just waggle until you right yourself and uh, everything's good in the world. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.